Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How is the weather in your area? Right here is raining. No, teacher. No oh. raining here. Oh, okay, right here is it is raining. Cotton dogs, you know. Okay, I hope that all of you feel really good today in order that we can start our class. I got 14 people now. Okay, um, well, yesterday we were talking about a small talk, so I remember to ask you, I ask you to create Sonosin. Okay, uh, let me see.
Okay, here we go. This is session number 10. And our topic today is review and practice about the previous topic. So uh, we are going to make a review about what we talked yesterday. In order to do this, let me share my last presentation. I remember I was trying to share with you an audio. I don't know if maybe some of you uh, were able to open it and listen it. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, el día de ayer había compartido un audio, pero no sé si todos lo lograron. Abrir. No, teacher. Se descarga, pero no suena. No suena. Dale tres de los zapatitos. Oh, okay, let me see what can I do in order that you can. Okay, hold on a second. Let me see the properties. Yo lo compartí en el grupo, teacher. Y se escucha. Ah, is that possible? Sí, sí, yo lo envié. Could you resend it, please? Okay. Thank you. I do really appreciate your help. I sure could. Okay, thank you. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, try to listen it, and then I'm going to share with you an extra info. Okay, based on the info. Okay. 
Okay, I guess it's going to be better if I share it. Hold on a second. Ven, veamos, lo voy a compartir desde acá, mejor de uno. Just let me know if you can hear it very well. Okay, let me try to do it. This is a download from BBC Learning English. Can you hear it? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. English, and with me in the studio is Rob. Hello, Neil. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, actually. The weather's been nice lately, hasn't it? Oh, yes, it has. The winter's been mild this year, but uh, according to the forecast, there might be some snow in parts of the country next week. And, you know, that's good because I love snow. We haven't seen much of it for okay, quite a while. OK, OK, OK. It's rain, isn't it? Enough, that's enough oh, okay, now. OK, OK. Enough now, or they're going to think it's true that British people only talk about the weather. Right. In this programme, we're talking about conversation and how to start talking with people you don't know. In short, how to make small talk. Right, well, small talk is what we call a polite and informal conversation about things which aren't really important or meaningful when meeting people socially, like at a party, for example. And in this programme, you'll learn some vocabulary about communication. But first, a question. Rob, when do babies usually start talking? Is it when they are A, nine months? B, 16 months, or C, 18 months? Oh, well, I know they start making noises at quite an early age, and I guess if that's talking, let me say A, 9 months. OK, well, we'll have the answer to that question at the end of the programme. Small talk is a social skill. Some people feel awkward. It means they feel uncomfortable, embarrassed when they go to a party and don't know many people there. Liz Brewer, the author of The Ultimate Guide to Party Planning and Etiquette, knows a lot about what to do on these occasions. Etiquette is the set of rules which indicate what behaviour in a society is acceptable and what's not. Yes, the author knows a lot about etiquette. Let's listen to her advice. What expression does she use to describe the act of attempting to start a conversation with someone? Do you walk in a room, there's a sea of, of faces. Well. First thing we do is, um, it's the weather. We do it because we are, in fact, breaking the ice. That is a code. That means I want to talk to you. It's an easy subject. It's not too penetrating. We're very private people. We don't like to give too much information. So we, we're on safe ground. We start off with the weather. If that goes well, we then take it one step further. Liz Brewer talks about breaking the ice. It means approaching someone you don't know and starting a friendly conversation with them. And when you break the ice, talking about things which are not specific is the best way. You don't start a chat asking straight away where people live or what they do for a living. And as the author said, we are very private people. Private describes someone who doesn't like to give away their personal information, opinions or share their feelings. So we need more time to open up to people we've just met. Good. So now you know what to do at a party when you don't know the other guests. Ah, uh, yeah, but Neil, there's one particular situation I'm not sure how to deal with. This is when I forget the name of the person I've been making small talk with. Ah, uh, yes, I know what that's like. You might not feel comfortable about allowing the person to realise you didn't really catch their name. It might sound rude. Yes, that's right. I don't want to sound rude, which means ill-mannered or unpleasant. The person I've just managed to approach might think I don't care. Let's see what tip author on etiquette Liz Brewer has for us. Which words does she use instead of, I have forgotten? You can say, oh, just your name has just slipped my mind for the moment. And they say, Paul. Oh, no, 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 I know you're Paul. It was the surname. Or they give you the surname and then you, you add the other. As I say, small talk is a code towards getting information and going further. Once you feel comfortable, then you can have these wonderful in-depth conversations. But those are the kind of things you want to probably do later. Liz Brewer says, Your name has just slipped to my mind. It's a gentler way of saying that they've just forgotten the person's name. And pretending that you knew the person's name, but you want the other name, is a clever trick. Yes, it might sound like you forgot the name, but not completely. And this author shows that you have to interact with people in a charming way. 
Yes. Well, my co-presenter, um, your name has uh, just slipped my mind for the moment. Come on, so... Rob. You know, you know it's Neil. Ah, uh, yes, it is Neil. Yes, just practising my social skills there. Well, I'm afraid you have to practise some other time because, well, I don't want to sound rude, but we are running out of time. Let me give you the correct answer to the quiz question now. Ah, uh, yes, you asked me, when do babies usually start talking? And you... OK, I'm going to stop there. I know that sometimes maybe it could be kind of difficult to understand the whole uh, words, but at least you already got some ideas in order that we can answer these questions. The first one said, what is a small talk? The second one, what is the meaning of odd words? What is uh, etiquette? Which word does least uh, viewer use instead of I, I have forgotten? And the last part, let's remember some of the words we use today. So based on the conversation, we are going to answer these questions. So let us start with the first one. What is a small talk according to the, the lesson? Tell me. Hello? Okay, what is a small talk? Me, teacher? Okay, okay go ahead, sir. A small talk is a casual form of conversation that break the ice teacher okay that's correct that's correct okay what about the second one what is the meaning of odd word in the context of the conversation maybe maybe teacher fear uh, odd word silence between people Ah, oh, could be. Really interesting. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let us see what someone else said. Our odd word meaning. Okay, what about number three? What is etiquette? What What do you remember about etiquette? No, teacher. I don't. I don't have idea. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, answer. Okay. Maybe someone else. Which word does Liz Brewer use instead of I have forgotten? What do you remember about? In the last part, let's remember some of the words we use today. Okay, let me go back. Asked me, when do babies usually start talking? And you gave me three options? Yes, and the options were nine months, 16 months, or 18 months. And I went for the first one, nine months. Was I right? Uh, you were wrong. Oh. The correct answer was C, 18 months. Now, according to the website webmd.com, 
There are some milestones in speech development. At six months, your baby begins babbling with different sounds. For example, your baby may say ba ba or <laughs> da da. And then after that, at、uh, nine months, babies can understand a few basic words.、Uh, at the age of 18 months, babies say up to 10 simple words. Ah, interesting stuff. And we're still learning words now, aren't we? <laughs> we are. Well, enough of the small talk. Let's remember some of the words we use today. Rob.、Uh, they were. Small talk, awkward, etiquette, breaking the ice, private, rude, slipped my mind. That's it for this programme. Do visit bbclearningenglish.com to find more six minute English programmes. Until next. Okay, you got it there. I'm going to. Hello, Neil. How are you、Good、today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, actually. The weather's been nice lately, hasn't it? Oh, yes, it has. The winter's been mild this year, but、uh, according to the forecast, there might be some snow in parts of the country next week. And, you know, that's good because I love snow and we haven't seen much of it for okay, quite a while. Okay, okay, okay. It's been a rain, isn't it? Enough,、that's、enough, it? enough、oh, okay, now. Okay, okay. Enough now, or they're going to think it's true that British people only talk about the weather. Right. In this programme, we're talking about conversation and how to start talking with people you don't know. In short, how to make small talk. Right, well, small talk is what we call a polite and informal conversation about things which aren't really important or mean. Okay, you've had the concept of small talk. You saw polite and. The weather, teacher. Let us talk about the concept of small talks.、Uh, it's informal conversation. Okay, it is a polite. A polite and sure. Okay, let me put it again. Conversation and how to start talking with people you don't know. In short, how to make small talk. Right, well, small talk is what we call a polite and informal conversation about things which aren't really important or meaningful when meeting people socially, like at a party, for example. And in this programme, you'll learn some vocabulary about communication. But first, a question Rob, when do babies usually start talking? Is it when they are A, nine months, B, 16 months, or C, 18 months? Oh, well, I know they start making noises at quite an early age, and I guess if that's talking, let me say A, nine months. OK, a y well, we'll have the answer to that question at the end of the programme. Small talk is a social skill. Some people feel awkward. It means they feel uncomfortable, embarrassed when they go to a party and don't know many people. OK, a y and also you got the meaning of the word outward. Will you tell me? What were mean? Hello? The A nine months. Okay, well, we'll have the answer to that question at the end of the program. Small talk is a social skill. Some people feel awkward. It means they feel uncomfortable, embarrassed when they go to a party and don't know many people there. Okay, but it's odd word. When somebody f e e l embarrassed, uncomfortable. Incomodo. Okay. Ms. Brewer, the author of The Ultimate Guide to Party Planning and Etiquette, knows a lot about what to do on these occasions. Etiquette is the set of rules which indicate what behaviour in a society is acceptable and what's not. Yes, the author knows a lot about etiquette. Let's listen to her advice. What expression does she use to describe the act of attempting to start a conversation with someone? So you walk in a room, there's a sea of, of faces. Well, First thing we do is、um, it's the weather. We do it because we are, in fact, breaking the ice. That is a code. That means I want to talk to you. 
It's an easy subject. It's not too penetrating. We're very private people. We don't like to give too much information. So we, we're on safe ground. We start off with the weather. If that goes well, we then take it one step further. Okay, I guess uh, it is enough about the listening. What can you tell me about? Difficult or in, in a different way? Tell me. Hello? Teacher, for me, difficult. Okay. For me, too, teacher. Difficult because it was very fast. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, don't worry. The most important thing here is that uh, you are going to get familiar with the sounds and later on it's going to be easier. Okay, America is now here. Uh, Os Carlos, say present, Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Cecilia. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Edwin, Alexis. Uh -huh. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda del Rosario. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Gabriela Yamilet. Gabriela Yamilet. Gisela, Gisela Guadalupe. Gisela Guadalupe. Present mm -hmm. teacher. Present. Oh, okay, yes, sir. Uh, Héctor Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, Ingrid Geraldina. Ingrid. No, Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, Don Jose Ernesto. Don Jose Ernesto. Eh, Catherine Paola. No here. Natalie. No here. Mauricio Antonio. Sorry, my teacher present. Okay, thank you. Mercedes. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Jesús oh, Roxana Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay, Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara. Teacher. Okay, uh, Sergio. Present teacher. Okay. Let me see, Janet. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Okay. okay. Okay, let us continue then. We, uh, well, later on, I'm going to share with you the, the link of, of the sound. Remember, uh, 
we are talking about this topic. And we have some questions like the following, what is a small talk? What is the meaning of hot word? What is etiquette? And which words does least reward use instead of I have forgotten? Let's remember some of the words we use today, please. Okay, you got it there. Just answer every question, please. What can you tell me about? Outward teacher. Tell me. What about the third question? What can you tell me about? No teacher. Bien suave, teacher. What about in this way? Tell me. Better? Hello? Better, teacher. Okay, better, better, better. Okay, I'm going to share with you some topic. And you are going to take care of each topic. Okay, here we go. Business English is small talk topic. Okay, if you if you can, you can make a, you can take a screenshot, please. Okay, okay, teacher.
Okay, we have business English small talks topics, work and location, transfer for work, work in general, weather, free time, hobbies, sport, holidays, food and drinks, education and training. Okay, um, you are going to decide which one do you prefer. And based on that, we are going to get together in order to create a small talk. Okay, what we are going to do is this. If you want, you can uh, take on a screenshot. Okay, and right here. Bueno, I'm sorry, not the way. Excuse me? Que se puede poner otra vez la, la imagen, por favor. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you have it there. Lista teacher. Okay. Okay, right now, what you are going to do is that in the chat or soon, you are going to write down your interest about one of those topics. And as soon as you see it, if somebody else uh, had the same topic, you are going to work together. Okay, let us... Uh, I start writing there in the chat this. Okay, para quien no ha comprendido lo que vamos a hacer de los ocho temas, usted va a escribir en el chat cuál le interesa. Luego, el, uh, si hay alguien más interesado, le va a decir, ah, nos identificamos, creemos nosotros dos. Eh, la conversación. But I need that you share your ideas in, in the in the chat, please. Okay, do it, do it, do it now, please, do it now. Okay, I, I don't see anybody writing down your interest topic in the shop. Okay, Sergio said free time. Okay, someone else? Sorry, teacher, me sacó y no vi la captura. No de la screenshot de los temas. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Let me see. Somebody shared it in the in the WhatsApp group, I guess. Okay, I'm going to show you again. O si lo puedo poner nuevamente para ver los temas, teacher. Okay, I'm here. Thank you. You got there. Okay, you got the topic there.
Okay, you got it? Okay, for example, Jonathan say hobbies, sport, food, and drink, and also weather. Uh, Carlos talk about sport and free time. You got in common sports. That means Jonathan and Carlos can work together. Okay, let me see the rest of you. Okay, uh, Janet said free time, hobbies, sport. Uh, okay, Roxana said free time, hobbies, sport too. Janet and Roxana can work together too. They want Elvin said free time, hobbies, food, drink, weather, transport for to for work, work and location. Said Cecilia. Okay, what else? Someone else. Okay, let me see somewhere else, please. Still raining, dear Syria. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is going to be in a different way. Okay, I'm going to create a breakout room uh, about five minutes. You are going to have the chance to talk about. Okay, here we go.
Okay, thumbs up. Okay, welcome back. Maybe the time is not enough, but at least you got the chance to work with somebody else and uh, share some idea related with the topic that I already mentioned. I don't know if some of you wants to practice the conversation that you have with your classmate. Please tell me. Teacher, I want to try. Okay, go ahead, sir. Uh, my partner is Hector. Okay, go ahead with Hector. Okay. Uh, the topic, teacher, is uh, hobbies. Okay, hobbies. Okay. Hello, Hector. Hello, Jonathan. How do you feel? I feel happy. Do you do you have any hobbies, Hector? Well, I like to play soccer. It's very it's very relaxing, Hector. Yes, it's very relaxing. I see you later, Jonathan. I see you later, Hector. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. That is we call small talks, you know. Okay, somebody else wants to do it. Me, teacher. Okay. Good, my partner, Esmeralda. Okay, Edwin and Esmeralda, go ahead. Okay. The, the topic is uh, was sports. Okay, let us talk about sports. Hi, Esmeralda. Hi, Edwin. Do you like the the soccer? Yes, I like. Uh, okay, what is your favorite team in Spanish league? In Spanish league, uh, Barcelona. And you? Really, really Barcelona. Me too. Yes, Barcelona. In in, in, in Salvadorian league, what is your team favorite? Uh, your my favorite, favorite team? my favorite team is FAS. Really? Yes, I born in Santa Ana. <laughs> So I like fast, a fast. For for me too, fast. Okay. Okay, you are two time perfect because you you born in Santa Ana and your uh, 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 fast is your team. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. See you Goodbye, tomorrow. Goodbye. See you. Perfect. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else.
Next one. Next one, please. I was with the listener, please. Okay, Sergio. Go ahead, Sergio. Teacher, I was with a listener. Excuse me? I was, I was with a listener. Ah, okay. That is the reason why what's difficult for you to create the conversation. Yes, <laughs> I got it. I got it. Okay. My goodness. Okay. Somebody else maybe wants to do it. Anybody else? Okay. Teacher. Hello. solita, pero lo puedo leer. Okay, you can try with Sergio if you want. Yeah, just uh just say the topic that you would like to talk about. For example, spar hobbies, different one. It's up to you. My topic is retain hobbies sports. Okay, what about you, Sergio? Okay, I try free time. Okay, let us let us uh let us do it now. Please try to do it. Okay. Hello, Sergio. How are Hello. you? Hello, Roxana. I'm fine. Where are you going? Excuse me. Where are you going? Improvisemos. <laughs> uh, where are you going? Uh, no lo entiendo. O sea, según mi conversación, yo puse, ¿verdad? Que para dónde va. Ah, okay. I go to work. Go to work and you? Uh, I go to the gym. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, is is relax for you go to gym? Yes. Okay. Uh, very, it, very relaxed. Okay. Okay. Uh, my uh, I am <laughs> in my in my free time. Uh, I play the guitar. I practice. Okay. Ah, good. Very nice. Okay. Yes. See you another day. See you, Oksana. Bye. Bye. Okay, thank you. Let us see if we have another couple there that wants to do it. No? Anybody else? Okay, let us continue then. Okay, let us talk about personnel and personnel. I remember I, I talked about a, a little bit about this. Uh, personnel and personnel, which were mean belonging uh, to a particular person and which were mean people who were for a company. Okay, what I need is that you complete the same, the same with the appropriate words, personal or personal. Okay, let us do it now, please. And later on, we are going to share it with the class.
number one personal teacher. Okay, try to answer all, all the statement and later on we are going to compare. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay. I finished, teacher. Okay, let us see what you have in number two. That's the marketing manager. Finish, finish, teacher. Okay, Edwin. Well, I guess we are going to wait uh, at least two more minutes in order that all of you finish. Finish, teacher. Okay.
Okay, let us continue. Who wants to read number two? Who wants to read number two? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, does the marketing manager have a personal assistant? Okay. Personal. Personal assistant. Okay. Personal assistant. Okay. Thank you. Number three. Someone else. Number three. Uh, Mr. Okay. Good. It's necessary. It's necessary to train more personnel for the hike season. Oh, okay, it's necessary to train more personnel. Personnel. Okay, personnel. Okay, thank you. Number four. Me, teacher. Okay, you can do it. Please. Do not bring your pro to your personal problems to office to the office. Personal. Okay, personal problem to the office. Okay. Thank you. And the last one, number five. Number five, please. Number five. The, the personal. Okay. The okay. personal. The personal of the workshop need new uniform teacher. Okay, new uniform. 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 Okay, thank you. Let us continue then. Okay, this exercise uh, is based on some topic that we already started, put the verbs into the correct form. Simple past. We are going to use simple past tense. Okay, you have like a 10 minutes in order to resolve this. If you want, you can uh, take a screenshot in order that you can have it there. And the instructions say put the very to the correct form. Simple pass. Okay, let us do it now, please.
So now she finished landing off, please. Okay, teacher, I finished. Okay, thank you. Let us wait a little bit in order that the rest of the class can finish too. And later on, finish. Teacher. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay. Okay, I guess his time is over. I need uh in a volunteer way someone can answer the fair one, please. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay, last year I spent my holiday my holiday in Ireland. Ireland, okay. Next one. Me teacher. Okay. Uh, it was great. It was great. Okay. Thank you. Next. Me teacher. Okay. 
I traveled around by car with two friends and we visited lots of interesting places. Okay, we, how do you pronounce the word? With visited, visited. Okay, visited, visited. Ah, visited, visited. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, next. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, sir. In the evening, we usually went to a pub. Okay. In the evening, we usually went to a pub. Okay, next. Next, please. Me, teacher. One night, we even learned some Irish dance. Okay. Next. We we were very lucky with the weather. Lucky, very lucky with the weather. Lucky, lucky. Yes, lucky. Thank you. Next. Next one, please. Me. Okay, sir. It rained a lot. Rain it a lot. In negative two. Yeah, in negative way. It's not raining a lot. Okay, remember that we are using the simple class. Okay, somebody else. Later on, I'm going to show the answer. Okay, somebody else, please. Snack, who's snack? Me, teacher. Okay. But we saw some beautiful ravens. Okay, we saw some beautiful rainbow. Okay, and the last one, who wants to do it? What about the last one, please? Uh, where did you spend your last holiday? Okay, where did you spend your last holiday? Okay, bingo. Let us see the answer and you are going to compare what you have. Okay, you got it there. So take a look at that. If you have some doubt, just let me know, please.
Okay, any question related with this? No? No question, teacher. No questions, okay. No, teacher. Okay, let us continue then with this exercise, please. Okay, the instruction said, please ask question using this plus the infinitive. Okay, go ahead. The first yeah, the teacher. Me, teacher? Yeah, you can do it. Uh, number one, what did you do? What did you do last Sunday? Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, take on. So one place. Uh, where did Smith did live in nineteen ninety six? Okay, okay. ¿Cómo sería exactamente? The instruction said, please ask question using deal plus infinity. Okay, tell me again. I think uh, Walt Smith did like where did Smith? Did. Or do. Does. No, because he's talking about the past. The past, okay. Sí, estamos hablando del pasado. Okay, okay, somebody else, somebody else, please. Do you remember your structure that we use when we have a WH where question? Se recuerda la estructura que debemos de usar cuando tenemos preguntas de información. Uh, teacher. Hello, sir. The the auxiliar is before that 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 uh, subject. Ah, okay, okay, okay. In that case, how would be hmm? how it would be? Sería entonces. Okay, tell me. Maybe in the second uh, could be where did the Smith live in 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 uh nineteen ninety six. Okay, perfect. Where did the Smith live in nineteen ninety six? Okay, next one, please. Number three. Number three. Yes. How many, how many ape, how many apples did Anna take to school yesterday? Oh, okay, perfect. 
Okay, someone else? Number four. Maybe when did Peter go to the football match? Okay. Number five. Okay, next please. Number five, why is Sarah to a school last week? Why Sarah? Why did Sarah go to school last week, teacher? Okay, why did Sarah walk to school last week? Okay, number six, which pencil you choose? Yeah, which pencil did you choose? Okay, number seven. Number seven. Uh, maybe how did Peter know your name? Okay, how did Peter know oh. your name? Okay. No, your name. Okay, number eight. Number A, how many homework you got yesterday? Okay, number A, number A, please. How much homework did you get yesterday? Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Number nine, when you see the film at the cinema. Okay, why is it? Why is it? Go ahead. Okay, let us do it. Let us do it now, please. Okay, maybe. When did you see the film at the cinema? When did you see the film at the cinema? Okay, the thank you. And the last one, why we walked so far yesterday? Okay. Mm 
maybe why we did work so far yesterday. Okay. Okay, now we are going to switch in a different activity. Remember that what we are doing today is just a, a review. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, let us continue. Uh, okay, I guess you already remember this exercise number six. Write a sentence to describe the ex expertise in the uh, industrial classification of the businesses below and share your sentence with the partner. We got refreshing leave, uh, fix and care, enjoy and travel, business around and uh, the sun we saw. And you got an example there. Okay, let us do it now, yes. Okay, you've really got an example there. A refresh and leave, we distribute soft drink. We are in the beverage industry.
In the second, maybe at fix and care, we provide her salon service. We are in the beauty and personal care industry. Okay, good idea, good idea. Okay, somebody can work in number three and someone else number four, and then we share it. Me teacher, number three. Okay, number three. Enjoying travel is um in the tourism tourist industry. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, next, next, please. Business Bank. Okay, let us do it. Let us do it. Just let me know, please. Mr. Chair. Okay, go ahead, sir. Uh, at business plan, we care your morning. We are in the finance industry. The financial area, okay. Okay, in the last one, the sun resort, the sun resort. Okay, the last one, the last one, please. Me teacher. At the Sun Resort, we have rooms with Sea View. We are in the hotel industry. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop sharing. Let me, let me see here.
Okay, let us continue on page number 26 of, of our material. And I'm going to share with you in order that you can see it there. Okay, let us see right here. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, the interaction says, read the article about Miss Tati's uh, networking experience. Discuss if the question below are true or false, correct the false answer. Okay, and we got it here, right here. This is the paragraph. Who wants to read the poem? Volunteers, where are you? Okay, I'm going to read it. Last week I had lunch with Allison. Any member of my network contacts? We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I could have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. Okay, second paragraph said, during lunch, Allison mentioned that she was shy, but natural. In the past, she said, she worried a lot before uh, going to a large networking event. I felt surprised because she trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she works in, and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to a smart talk. Oh, okay. It is my, my advice to you. When you uh, attend business events, do not just uh, go and discuss business problem and solution. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee lunch or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skill, and you build meaningful connecting connection with people in the industry. Okay. Now I'm a volunteer who wants to read it. Okay, who wants to do it? The other teacher. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. When networking with people at meetings, conference, associations, mirroring, or conventions, learn to ask interesting information, questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard, what do you do for a living? For a more creative, question to enrich the human's chains. Like what inspires you in your job? What are your daily cha challenges? Okay. Okay, thank you. Someone else wants to read it. Anybody else wants to read it? No? Okay, I'm going to read the next part that is uh, the right side. We're networking with people at meeting, conferences, association, meetings, or convention. Learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. 
change the, the standard? What do you do for a uh, living? For a more creative question to enrich the human exchange. Like what inspire you if, if your job or what uh, are your daily challenges? Okay. Based on this, we have some questions. Okay. From one to five. Yes, read it and choose. True or false? Go ahead. Okay, uh, number one said, so Alison and Miss Kathy saw each other for the first time last week. True or false? According to the reading, tell me. False teacher. It is false. False teacher. Okay, number two, Miss Tate's. Uh, Ms. Tati set a networking goal for this year. True, teacher. True. You consider it's true. Okay, number three, Alison uh, confessed she hates networking events. She hated it. Four. Need to four. Okay. You say it is four. Okay, Miss Kathy and Allison uh Kath from small talk to smart talk during lunch. What do you think about that? And the last one, Miss Kathy mentioned three benefits of one on one networking meeting. Okay, try to remember what you read. Okay, let me know what you have there in order to share your ideas. Just tell me, please. Well, according to the time, we need to move a little bit forward. Okay, let me see the next bar. Okay, vocabulary review. Find the 10, ten word from the box below in the words search. Okay, we have the words right here, industry, staff, headquarters, small talks, networking, manufacturer, branch, personnel, guests, 
experience. Okay, try to do it now. Go ahead. Personal teacher, the first line. Oh, okay, I, I got it, I got it personal. Okay, just take a look. Let us continue then. Manufacture. Excuse me? Manufacture, first column. Ah, okay, manufacture. Okay, try to underline or something like that, please. Okay, what else? What else do we have? Teacher, small talk. Okay, let me see what you can do in order to... A small talk. Okay, hold on a second. Manufacturer said you can put it this way. Correct, small talk. And to raise this. Okay, small talk. What about that one? Branch. Branch. Okay. What else? Come on. Hey, Gwari. Here, Gwari. Okay. Here, Gwari. Okay. Let me get small okay go ahead what else Task teacher which one Task. okay try to mark on the layer soup please Okay, let us continue then, please. Another one, teacher, industry. Industry, okay, industry. Industry. Okay. Expertise, teacher. Expertise, okay. Pretty good. Headquarter. Headquarter. Okay, what else? Come on. Yes, teacher. Ah, yes. 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 Right. Industry industry teacher is, is not Mark. 
Okay. And, and another one is manufacture. Manufacture, okay. In the first in the first um, file. Okay. Right. My goodness, the power went off. I'm still waiting to finish my class. The power went off again. Bueno, lo siento, hubo un corte de energía. Ya estamos de regreso justamente para poder concluir y no repetir la sesión. Hola, hola. Hello, teacher. Hello, I'm here, I'm here. Por acá estamos, estamos. hubo uh, un corte de energía. Ok, teacher, no problem. Ok, because of the time, uh, you can finish this exercise later on in your house. Okay, the next one, uh, number two, choose five words from the word search and write sentence for each. Only five can do this. Okay, and the last part that we need to resolve is uh, when we talk about socialization, write five information questions in the simple present, use the bird from the box. And you have oversee, manufacture, supervise, be in care of, and networking. Okay, we can start working on this. Because we just missed this one, number, number four and five. And number four, say order the world to be a positive, negative, and interrogative statement in the simple path. Okay, if you want, we can start working this activity, number four. Okay, do it, do it, do it now, please. The number one teacher. Okay, number one. Did you enjoy the training? Did you enjoy the training? Okay, that's correct. Number two. Someone else? Number two, please. Didn't the seminar manager that attend? Okay, let us do it. Let us do it now, please. Number one. 
Number two, number two. Okay, go ahead, tell me. Hurry up, hurry up. The seminar didn't um, remember that you need to identify the subject first. Identifiquemos el sujeto primero, por favor. The manager didn't know the seminar the attempt. Ah, another idea. Lost, lost, lost. Uh, the manager didn't attend the seminar. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, number number three. Okay, only this is gonna be the last one. Solo vamos a hacer este ya porque ya estamos sobre el tiempo. Okay, they're updated the, the maintenance certification personnel. Well, because of the time, you can uh, you can do it and later on, we, we are going to check it tomorrow because it's, uh, we are over time now. This is, uh, you can find it on page number 28, 28. This is the number of the page. Okay, hold. I'm going to stop sharing here. I do really sorry. Okay, let me just check out my attendance list. Okay, um, Carlos Amilcar, say hello if you are Present here. teacher. Okay, thank you. Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher. Edwin Alexis. Not here, Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Meralda. Present teacher. Okay, Gabriela. Present teacher. Isela Guadalupe. Not here. Hector Enrique. Present teacher. Ingrid, Geraldina. It's not here. Okay, uh, uh, Jonathan. Present. Jose Ernesto. Present teacher. Eh, Catherine, Paola. Natalie, I saw she, she sent something. She sent a message. Uh, Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. 
Ok. Eh, Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Roxana de Jesús. Present teacher. Eh, Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara. Sara Alejandra. Eh, Sergio Adolfo. Present teacher. Janet del Carmen. Present teacher. And Yesenia Lisset. Okay, thank you. Number 10, who is number 10? Yes, Ingrid Heraldina, but it's not here. Okay, thank you. I do really appreciate your time and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night and take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night teacher. Thank you. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Don Jose Ernesto Alemán. Hi, teacher. No lo he estado mirando estos días. ¿Qué le ha pasado? Sí, fíjese que aún ayer hubo una fuerte lluvia y yo venía al lado de Santa Ana. Sí. Teacher, I am here. I am Gisela. Ah, Gisela. Ok. Thank you. Este, había un fuerte tráfico por un accidente que había en Los Chorros. Solo había un carril de subida y no me fue posible llegar, hombre. Y hoy lo mismo tuve atraso fuerte, venía al lado de Zacatecoluca y sí que me costó llegar al, aquí al lugar ¿verdad? de mi casa entonces, pero este no, ahí estoy yo, quiero recuperarme lo que falta pues del curso ¿verdad? ok, perfecto y ver si puedo lograr la información para para seguir adelante ¿verdad? excelente sí. gracias teacher ok, perfecto, take care see you, good night Okay, good night. Take care.